basically today we're talking about um, how a traditional sort of uh, European sales house is evolving its model in uh, data driven advertising space. So before we kind of jump on the board and kind of explain what MediaNet do, we'll just get Dosh to kind of talk about MediaNet and who they are and what they do and what's their proposition. Dosh. Thank you, uh, Kieran. Well, um, MediaNet is the leading online advertising company in Turkey. We are basically a, a sales house where we are monetizing our sister companies, pub, uh, websites and mobile sites, mobile apps. We are part of a huge, giant holding company and this holding company owns many newspapers, many TV channels and we are basically at the core monetizing their websites. Um, Medianet has different departments. Maybe yeah. I can let's, show let's, let's draw it on the board yeah. here first. Perfect. So uh, we have different teams on display side, on video side, mm. on mobile side, on performance side, and on social media. Okay. And each department has uh, different teams different people mm -hmm. trying to um, make, make their best to, to monetize their uh, websites plus their uh, advertisers yeah. with the highest value. So, uh, well, on, on this, we have our own proprietary technology. Yeah. Maybe I should talk about that yeah. as well. So, I mean, just to, so yeah. people know uh, the proposition, that you, would you say that MediaNet is more like a traditional German sales house in the sense that you have you know, a publishing arm, you have right. digital, you have TV, and it, it works very much like a traditional uh, German sales house, is that correct? Well, we can say that, so yeah. that's right, I mean, at the core we are a sales house, we yeah. work with our um, holding company publishers, mm -hmm. plus with some publishers outside of our holding company yeah. as well. Um, but we have exclusive rights to monetize their websites. And how many impressions would you would you really have been managing uh, between owner and operator? It's around close to uh, ten billion impressions. Ten billion impressions that's, in Turkey alone. That, yeah, that's right. Okay. That's right. And we have a huge international traffic as yeah. well. Yeah. Again, it's around one billion impressions, right. and uh, it's coming mostly from Germany, mm -hmm. from US, UK, Netherlands. So the Turkish expat community, effectively. Thank you. Right. That's right. So you, you're very you're interested proposition in the sense that you also build your own tech as well. That's so could right. you tell us a little bit about MediaNet's technology? Sure. We we, we call it internally um, MediaNet. Ad server plus, and uh, it, it's we've been working on it for years. Mm -hmm. So it's a very advanced technology right yeah. now, and we are still developing it. We are adding some modules where we're mm. able to get the most out of it. Yeah, and we have some interesting plans regarding our ad server. Maybe yeah. uh, next year. 2013. You're going to start. Yeah, that's right. So you've built this from scratch. You built right. this from yourself. That's right. So it's quite interesting. So you've got all these uh, all these properties that you you, you you own, and also all of these properties that you partner with in terms of sales. Um, how do you? How is your proposition working now in the data driven space? I mean, obviously you've seen the space changing dramatically in, in the Turkish market. I mean, how are you developing, say, uh, for your publisher partners and your own on your own inventory? What are you What are you likely to do? Um, on, on, on programmatic space, Turkish market is very immature at the moment. Yes. So we've been uh, we've been trying to promote the um, RTB technologies, mm -hmm. RTB concept yeah. for a while, and right now all the uh, publishers, all the advertisers, agencies are um, trying to learn what what's going on. So we're at a very US early stage still. That's still, that's right. Yeah. It's still very early stage, mm -hmm. but it's going to change. Actually, it started to change, and uh, hopefully, uh, by the end of two thousand thirteen, we will we will be talking much different uh, problems mm -hmm. on RTB space. Mm -hmm. But it's it's going to be advanced uh, advanced uh, problems. I mean. So uh, the RTB that's happening now in the market, uh, uh, where is that demand coming from? Is it mostly coming from retargeters? Or is it coming from the big holding groups, trading desks? Where do you see it coming for the minute? Well, um, still, it's 
a, a very early stage. So there are uh, some small agencies trying to uh, run some RTV campaigns. Yeah. And there are some uh, retargeting, retargeting companies mm -hmm. trying to newly enter to the market. Mm. So we believe that very soon there will be all the big agencies, international agencies like Karat, like Group M, etc. Yeah. They will be having their own departments mm -hmm. just focusing on, on uh, buying impressions and from is market. Is there a huge opportunity in Turkey, do you think, in terms of the growth of the market? Definitely, definitely. So, um, well, I believe the Turkish people are very technology driven people. So yeah. we, I believe that we believe that they are going to embrace this technology yeah. very soon, very quickly, very rapidly. Okay. And would you say that the market there is very much ROI driven, like direct response, or is there a lot of brand budget as well in the digital space? On we in our company, um, we work mostly on branding side. Okay. Because our uh, websites, or our publishers, are very highly ha prestigious. Sites, yes. Yeah. That's right. And. On RTV space, I believe we are going to start with uh, performance campaigns mostly, mm -hmm. and afterwards, I think the market will evolve where they can also buy these random impressions as well. And you are looking at obviously building a strategy around that now in terms of building, the, you know, the SSP partnerships. I mean, is that something you're looking at? Obviously, you've got the foreign inventory as well. I mean, how do you see monetizing all that? Well, um, we have some different um, strategies there, different plans, and we believe that it's going to be a fantastic opportunity for yeah. us to lead this uh, transformation yeah. process. And first of all, we're going to work with an SSP company to protect our inventory, yeah. to um, manage our um, inventory yeah. in the best way possible. And we're going to also start found, uh, create a new department. Uh, it's going to be a trading desk, basically. Oh, really? So you, you're looking at building a trading desk uh, right. proposition. Given the, how right. much inventory you have, it's probably a good idea. Like, yeah. That's right. And also, uh, we believe that we have very highly uh, premium uh, impressions. Yeah. But we believe that we should be also um, reach to other highly premium uh, inventory out okay. there as well. So. So when do you think, when do you see yourself rolling out this trade nest proposition? Will it be this year or, or sorry, not will it be next year? Will we see it's going to be very quick. Net? It's going to be very, very quick. Right. So maybe Q1, 2013. Do you see that working directly with the agencies then? Like just helping them manage buys across this new, this new ecosystem? Um, the demand side is not ready yet. So they, they will also learn first of yeah. all what it is how to buy. Mm -hmm. Right now they are reading some articles, yeah. they, they are talking to Reading exchange work. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's our main information source. Yeah, thank you. And, thank you. <laughs> and well, uh, I think it's going to evolve very quickly. They're yeah. going to evolve very quickly. So demand side will be ready, hopefully, very yeah. soon. And the publishers, the uh, supply side also is learning and trying to adapt. Mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 on our TV side, we, sh we cannot say that Okay, RTV, let's stay away from it, mm -hmm. let's close our, our eyes, it's going to go away one day. Mm -hmm. It's not going, mm -hmm. obviously, it's growing and it's going to be there for a long time mm -hmm. and we should be, we should be evolving uh, and adapting to this new uh, sales chance. And what about the region as a whole? I mean, Turkey obviously is going to take a, take a lead on this. Do you see this go, rolling that into sort of uh, that, the, the greater area like uh, so Southern Europe and uh, the region around the Middle East? Is that, is that something you, you'd like to push this into as well? Um, not very quickly, mm. I believe, because the Turkish market should first adapt themselves, yeah. this, but maybe in three years, why yeah. not? So. Okay. okay. So um, that was uh, an interesting overview on the, uh, the media net strategy. Uh, Doge, thanks for coming in today. Thank you very much. And uh, that was Trader Talk. Thank you very much. Thank you.